Welcome back to the Combat Crack YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The Jake Paul vs. Tyron Woodley pay-per-view price has been revealed. The pair are set to collide in a boxing match on August 29th, and fans who won't be able to make it can purchase it for $59.99. It's $59.99, Showtime Sports President Steven Espinoza said. That reflects a couple of things. It's in the ballpark of where similar fights have been. It is at a point below a lot of other higher price PPVs, but in particular on this one, I think you've got a full boxing card of exciting young fighters. That was the key. The undercard for the event will feature some prominent names compared to previous Paul cards. That includes Tommy Fury, the younger brother of WBC heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, as he takes on five-time Bellator veteran Anthony Taylor in a six-round contest. Additionally, Daniel Dubois will face Joe Cusimano in a ten-round bout while former champion Ivan Baranchek meets Montana Love. Dustin Poirier revealed his knee was sore for the first time after checking Conor McGregor's leg kicks at UFC 264 last month. I've been checked by a lot of heavy kickers, but never before have I left fight week and been sore on my actual bone, like my knee was sore, Poirier said. Not my thigh or calf, my knee was sore. However, Poirier believes hitting his knee is what led to McGregor's tibia eventually breaking and resulting in his first round TKO defeat. But who was the hardest kicker Poirier has ever faced? Gaethje, Poirier responded. He partially tore my quad. In the fight, him not caring about position, throwing kicks as hard as he can just to land them, not worrying about repercussions, no setups. UFC Vegas 33 winner Sean Strickland earned the biggest win of his career after a unanimous decision defeat over Uriah Hall this past weekend. However, Strickland couldn't go without saying something bizarre. He received criticism post-fight for stating that he would love to kill someone in the ring. If you like to hurt people, you're in the right sport. I would love nothing more than to kill somebody in the ring. Nothing more. It would make me super happy. I would own that too. I don't know if it would make me liable, I might have to say I'm sorry if the cops came, but I would own that Own it. Be a psychopath. It's fun. Unsurprisingly, the UFC have yet to comment on his statement as of yet. Thanks all for checking out the Combat Crack Daily Updates on Combat Sports.